uh, first of all, I'm thankful to ma'am uh, for giving me this opportunity. So as uh, ma'am had already discussed that ki breast cancer, uh, what exactly and why the awareness is uh, important. So uh, showing the photograph of Angelina Jolie is because uh, in 2003, she diagnosed, uh, she had undergone a prophylactic mastectomy because uh, she had diagnosed with the BRCA gene, which is uh, one of a uh, genetic marker for uh, CA breast. She also had a history of uh, CA, uh, cancer in her, uh, in her family. Uh, her mother was suffering from uh, cancer. So uh, prophylactic mast mastectomy was only possible because she was aware of what all things and what all uh, indicators are there for uh, you know prognosis uh, for cancer. So uh, main motto of showing the photograph is just first to know and uh, she is aware, so she underwent, so the chances of and the prognosis has been improved now because the chances of uh, prognosis will be better uh, if you diagnose early. So uh, as she diagnosed as a BRCA gene 1 positive, so she underwent a prophylactic mastectomy in 2003. So now the chances of further, uh, you know, uh, health improvement will are improved now as compared to previously. So uh, just because of the small awareness of the, you know, just the knowledge she had uh, faced and she has uh, passed the, uh, you know, consequences which can happen if she is not able to uh, diagnose things. So other factors I will be discussing and some uh, other factors will be discussed by ma'am. And also uh, what, what are the chemotherapy and radiotherapy managements and what are the uh, side effects of that will be discussed by ma'am. So uh, if you see the graph here uh, in uh, till 2018, the number, uh, if you uh, compare the numbers, the maximum number will be seen uh, is 14% is the breast cancer. So number of uh, breast cancer, uh, is increasing is if we uh, see the overall cancer rate. So uh, what are the facts? Why the breast cancer is increasing? So uh, if we see the facts, then there will be a lifestyle changes, lack of awareness, absence of breast cancer screening program, cancer not a priority issue, clinical advances not reaching vast majority. So lifestyle changes is just because the uh, number of working hours, number of uh, working hours previously, 10 years back, the working hours for the woman, and now it's been changed. Uh, secondly, the food habits. The food habits has been changed. So thirdly, uh, the lack of exercise or increase increase in the obesity. These are one of the you know factors which are uh, leading to number of cancer cases are increasing now nowadays. Lack of awareness is uh, that what I told just now because that uh, she was knowing that she, there is a gene, genetic factor is also one of the responsible factor for a breast cancer. So this awareness is still not there. That's why the main motto of keeping breast cancer awareness camp is we should know what are what are the facts and what are what are the indicators for cancer uh, uh, for breast cancer. So, uh, and second thing, the second most common cancer is the breast cancer. Secondly, clinical advances not reaching vast majority. Like uh, there are still, uh, India is a developing country. So uh, if you compare uh, with the US or, uh, you know, any developed country, so India is still developing. So what are, whatever the clinical advances is happening, it is not reaching to a vast majority of people. So second most common cancer is in women as the breast cancer. If you compare USA, uh, the number of cases, 72 cases per lakh. In Mumbai, 20 cases per lakh. Mortality rate, if you see, 27 per lakh per year. In USA, 1.86 lakh new cases discovered per year. Why we are comparing with USA? Just because USA is a developed country. The number of cases and uh, number of cases of India, if we compare, are way different. Uh, U.S. is a developed nation, India is a developing nation, and there is a lack of breast awareness due to two factors. One is clinical advances not reaching the vast majority and cost constraint. The cost, basically, if we see the number of uh, uh, cases increased in a higher socioeconomic class as compared to a uh, lower socioeconomic class. But if we see in the breast cancer cases, they are equal number. Uh, in lower socioeconomic class, because of uh, they don't have a you know uh, that much of uh, you know money, 
they don't have that uh, you know uh, so because of uh, less money they can't uh, go for the you know uh, the, whatever the clinical advances are there like mammography the cost is more so they are not able to afford that so because one of these these are some of the factors that's why the breast cancer screenings are there but still patients are coming so still patients are not aware of all this stuff so if we see the etiology uh, not all the lump in the breast are cancerous there are some benign lesions which uh, which are common in the some age age group if we see between 12 to 40 years of age there are some lesions which are benign and they are not malignant malignant means they they are not uh, they are not malignant means they, they they are cancerous but some of the lesions are not cancerous also but we have to follow up with our uh, consultants so fibroadenoma if we see the examples are some of the examples like fibroadenoma fibrocystic disease abscess and infections cysts. these are some of the benign lesions which are common in the breast they are not malignant they are not cancerous if but we have to you know we have to aware of what lesions are they so that we have to uh, you know so we have to go and meet our physicians malignant lesions mostly seen in the above 45 years of age and if we have a family history family history is important in breast cancer and uh, some of other cancers also but in breast cancer specifically if mother or sister or da daughter the history we have to see if the mother is having then the daughter there are chances of having ca in her future of you know future endeavor uh, late pregnancy gender mostly female and male uh, both can have a ca breast but chances of uh, female having a ca breast are more early menarche late menopause that means the menses the number of uh, days spent with the estrogen and uh, progesterone uh, levels fluctuating are uh, basically showing this things so these are some of the etiological factors for benign and malignant lesion so remember there are uh, lesions which are benign also they are not malignant but we have to show to our physician so this is basically awareness some in india the chances of uh, cancers are increasing because females are not aware which uh, they are they are ignoring the lump and then uh, after some times or within a two or three months it is landing into a malignant lesions so if early we go the chances of prognosis will be better early we show the chances of surgery are more early we show the chances of prognosis is better risk factor as i told you first degree relative with bilateral breast or ovarian cancers first degree relative with breast cancer less than 40 years of or first degree male ca breast first degree or second degree relative with breast cancer less than 60 years of age first or second degree relative with breast or ovarian cancers so risk factor what i am saying is in this slide is if the relative or first degree relative is having a breast or ovarian cancer then the uh, relative the in 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 the relate the relatives there are chances of ca breast or there are chances of cancers are there related to if the past history or a family history is having ovarian cancer or ca breast so we have to see the risk factors we have to know what are the risk factors in ca breast as i told you unilateral or bilateral uh, there are chances that both bilateral ca breast will be there but the if we see the percentage 4 to 10% chances are there uh, lifestyle changes consist of obesity and high high fat diet these are one of the factors of ca history of radiation in past history of oral contraceptive pills urbanization and higher socio economic status certain close communities like parsis in india these are also some of the etiological factors having ca breast is there any history of hysterectomy history of hormonal replacement therapy history of hormonal replacement therapy that means some some of the females are having pcod or polycystic ovarian disease so she she is taking some hormonal medications history of previous biopsy previous biopsy the meaning is if you had a lump which is a benign lesion or uh, which is a suspicious lesion you have shown to a physician they uh, they told you the investigations if you have done a biopsy or a needle biopsy uh, these one of these these are some of the causes greater the age at detection greater the chances of malignancy if uh, if we uh, if if this if we see the age more than 45 years of age if the female is and having a lump there are chances that 
it might be a ca or it may be a ca for that we have to do a further investigations but not all cases having a uh, age of 45 years or 50 years with you know a lump in the breast are malignant so just we have to show to our physician to know what exactly we don't have to ignore if there is any lump uh, the the slides i will show you further what are the you know signs and symptoms so is is there any pain or is there any lump in the breast you just have to you know meet your consultant or physician just to show when to do a breast palpation and a breast self examination the slides will be uh, you know discussed with uh, by the ma'am if we see the symptoms breast complaints will not be there in the breast cancer and breast pain is will be there in the breast disease so if the lump is there in the breast is a, if it is a, it is showing any pain or any symptoms then it might be a benign disease but you have to show to your consultant but a lump which is asymptomatic and which is increase within the uh, two months of you know duration or three months or within a 10 days then you have to show to your consultant immediately because there are chances of uh, you know malignancy will be more so if the early you show the prognosis will be good the late and the late as you delay the you know showing to your physician or you know ignoring will land up into a worse prognosis the prognosis will be depending on the you know the size of the lump fibrocystic disease these are basically the benign lesions they are the periodic changes infective disease if the patient or a person is breastfeeding there are chances that there is development of the breast abscess they are not malignant they can be cured with the antibiotic and ind that is if there is a pus we have to remove it that's it fibrocystic disease these are basically your uh, related to your menstruations they can be controlled with the medications or just uh, supportive therapy symptoms if we see there can be a painless lump discharge from the nipple discharge are the various type discharge can be red color black color or serous color or uh, yellowish color skin excoriation or ulceration axillary mass axilla or supraclavicular mass a uh, late detection in the obese if the person is obese or uh, weight more or the bmi if it is more than 30 or 32 there are chances that there is uh, you know late detection because of just because uh, it is not palpated or not uh, done properly a breast self examination it can be chances that it is uh, detected very late just because of obesity so if we see the signs if we you know if you want to convey to our friend or to our relatives uh, there are some signs which can be easily seen uh, during your you know day to day activity or day to day work uh, if we see the symmetry of the breast the both the breast should be at the level the nipple areola complex should be at the level if they are not at the level then they are not in the symmetry then we can call it as breast asymmetry if we see in the photograph there are Uh, shown the levels of the nipple are not in the nine so if such signs are there then you can you know uh, show it to the physician or you can uh, you know some of your relative or a friend is having such things then they can convey this to the physician concern is there any palpable lump lump can be palpable with your uh, hands or if you are having any uh, you know lumpish feel in your breast it can be you know benign lesion or malignant lesion but you have to show to your physician discharge from the nipple as i told you discharge can be red color discharge can be white color discharge can be cs you have to see if there is any discharge you have to meet your concerned physician these basically studio so pseudo orange appearance it is a advanced stage of ca breast if Uh, it will give you a look like you know the orange peel appearance the skin of the orange if we see skin of the orange it will give a appearance like this so it might be there and uh, this mostly it is the signs of malignancy you have to definitely you have to come and meet your physician nipple retraction nipple retraction nipple inver inversion these may be uh, you know benign also and malignancy also which can be you know uh, you have to be uh, you you have to undergo some some of the investigation to rule out is it's a benign or it is a malignant but one of the signs of uh, you know uh, malignancy if we see in the breast cancer it is a nipple retraction 
uh, skin dimpling if uh, it is there then it can be uh, one of the sign of malignancy axillary mass as i told you axillary mass can be a sign of uh, one of the signs of malignancy